If you're interested in adding a realistic level crossing to your layout, this five part series shows you what you can do and how you can do it. This is part one of that five part series. In this video, I will use a demonstration module to show bells ringing and warning lights flashing on a common low vehicular traffic level crossing. Then, using a code simulator, I will explain how the control circuit works. Finally, after explaining how it works, I will show you how it works. All videos in this series are linked below and at the end of this video in the end screen. Before we start, this free ebook about leveling crossings, tips, hints, and how to make your own is a great resource that covers level crossings in detail and gives you a step-by-step -step guide to making one. Get it through the link below the video. In this video, I'll be using my development and demonstration board. It consists of some mock-ups, some mocked up gates and mocked up uh, warning lights. The warning lights, shrink tube, cardboard, Christmas light LEDs, the gates are nothing but servos in acrylic brackets with some veneer uh, gate bars uh, double-sided taped on. I'm able to choose what uh, part or what mock-up I want to use for whatever program. In this case, we'll be using two lights. The entrance lights on either side of the crossing uh, and we'll see how they work as we go forward. This is the code simulator I will be using. When the blue light is on, that indicates the bell is ringing. This is a warning light on one entrance and then the entrance on the other side of the track. These are slide switches which represent the IR sensors, the detectors on each side of the crossing, uh, one track and a second track. What I'll be doing is I'll move the slide switch over, indicate that a track came, a train came into the crossing, and then I can move this slide switch to indicate when it left. I'll do that on both of the tracks and show you how it operates. This is a code simulator. I have the flashing lights and then I have the warning bell in blue. What I'll be doing is turning the uh, slide switches on and off simulates trains coming into and out of the crossing. I just brought a train into the crossing the bell started ringing, the lights flashing. And what I'll do over here now is I'll bring a second train in. And so the crossing has two trains in there. If you notice down at the bottom, it's telling us what's going on. Now I'm going to exit one of the trains here. This train is just exited. You'll notice we still have one train in the crossing. Uh, even yeah, and the lights and continue to flash and the bell stays on. I'll then come over to the uh, second track and I'll exit the train from the second track. Now this program is set up so that you can easily use it on three tracks and if you wish you can actually add more tracks but I don't know of how many people would want to be using uh, more than uh, three tracks. So that's how your system works. It times out and the lights go out. All adjustable. Now let's watch this work on the demonstration board. I'm going to run a train through the crossing twice so that you can get a good look at how this works you can adjust the flash rate of the lights. You can also adjust the time uh, that the lights and bells continue to ring 
after the train leaves the crossing. There are two control boards involved here. One is the sound module and the other is the main controller. They're very easy to make. Links to how to make them and where to get them are below the video. This is a quick look at a uh, module I'm making. Shows the program working. Lights flashing. I've got four lights flashing this one. But it gives you the idea of what you can do with this program. I hope this helps. If you have any questions, contact me. Watch the playlist at the end of this video where we go through all the other type crossings that you can make using these control boards.